Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for joining me today and in today's Nightingale video we're going to be talking about creating better gear. So better gear is achieved with three different things in mind. First off is augmentations. Everyone wants to place them all over the place but your workbenches are going to go ahead and say that is a suitable augmentation to have and it'll override other um, augmentations that are placed required for certain things. Case in point, I have a excellent workbench here and I was unable to go ahead and craft certain ammunitions as well as certain weapons. And this is because it was taking precedence of some of the augmentations over here on this desk. In order to go ahead and alleviate that, I created a wall which pretty much cut the line of sight and a load allowed only the augmentations that were located in this area to take effect so I can go ahead and resume crafting weapons as well as ammunition. So that being said, you can go ahead and check on what kind of augmentations are affecting your workbench by holding E on the workbench and scrolling down to see what's going to be applied to your end craft. So that being said, the second thing that is taking precedence is your realm card. Your realm card, depending on what you play, can increase uh, durability, melee damage, range damage, and magic attributes. You can also... Uh, affect how much is produced so like right now I have an industry card that is helping me produce extra ammunition in double the amount for the same amount of resources which is really good and that realm card can be changed at any time you can also go ahead and create a realm uh, remote realm changer thing and then you can place it next to your base just like you have your portal as well uh, the next thing is the quality of materials. So whatever you're creating, in this case, I have two different axes. So the first axe is made primarily for casting. So magic power is something that you're going to find only through your gloves, your hat, and your uh, weapon of choice. So keeping in mind that this is made entirely out of gold, which gold increases by a significant amount of magic. Um, it's actually applied on here as well as some of the infusions that you can go ahead and utilize to go ahead and increase the magic potential behind it as well as pushing the item level at the same time the next thing that you want to keep in mind when creating gear is that your gear will go ahead and do several different things and it usually is the same on all gear uh, going forward so I have the Cal uh, what is this the Cal Calarian hat or the set itself the hat and the gloves are going to be focused on melee. You can go ahead and see that there is a small amount of magic power here. So I would focus crafting with magic based cloths, uh, threads, straps, leathers, things like that. You can find them. Hunting fabled creatures is a good way to find those uh, leather pieces. As well as the sun giants themselves, you can hunt those inside of the desert apex portal at the watch and collect their ingots at the end. Those ingots will go ahead and have magic increases on them for things like buttons, buckles, and the sort. So the next thing that's going to take care of us is our chest piece. Our chest piece is where all our resistances are factored in. And of course, this is being boosted by more infusions as well utilizing uh, materials that are focused on health and HP because this is where you're going to get a huge chunk of HP as well as your backpack. So these are some of the places and your regeneration of resources is going to be usually found in your chest piece as well as your legs and your mobility in being able to move is going to be found in your backpack as well as your boots. So my recommendation for you is to craft your boots and your backpack out of uh, movement, speed, um, materials, and to create your hat and gloves out of different materials that focus on magic power or melee or range damage, depending on what you want to use. And of course, your chest and your legs, you want to go ahead and promote that regeneration so anything that promotes regeneration, you want to go ahead and get use of that or more use of that material with uh, these pieces. And then, of course, health or any type of resistances that you might need in the future. You want to make sure that you make your chest piece or your jacket out of that uh, material itself. So going back into weapons, we can see that I have a gold rugged 
axe pick and a pelicidic axe pick. The pelicidic axe pick is created with uh, pelicidic ingots and that's going to promote more melee damage, 30% more melee damage. So when you craft everything out of this material, you're going to destroy nodes and cut down trees faster than anything. The same thing is said about the sickle when you're going to go ahead and hit those item levels. And this is the way that you increase uh, your item levels to get to be able to gather the 230 resources. I made a video on that. And uh, by in using infusions as well as enchantments on gear itself, it's going to go ahead and bump up your item level significantly. So when you're crafting certain materials, make sure that you go ahead and collect these different things within the realms themselves, of course. But those apex portals are pretty good at, you know, giving you things like lacunas ingots, and uh, very, very rarely will you get something like a bombardier ingot. This one is very good. Uh, you also have a chance to get some of these at the end, the fabled sun giant ingot. And these are really good for uh, magic power, for creating those buttons and buckles and things like that. And then, of course, you've got things like cobalt, which increase your resistances. But we want to focus on, I think I have some advanced, oh no, here's the pelicidic ingot. So any of your crafting tools that you're going to be, uh, not crafting tools, but your gathering tools, you're going to want to create out of this material because it's going to give you that 30% melee damage and you're going to be able to use them. So when you're creating a melee weapon, you can go ahead and utilize a rugged axe as my NPC over here has. But... The axe pick is going to be pretty good because it's going to do a number of things. It's going to be your main casting tool uh, when it's made out of entirely gold. It's going to be able to do some moderate amount of damage. You're going to be able to heal yourself. You're also going to be able to collect the resources of wood and, and ore, stone, things like that. And you're going to be able to... Uh, Keep yourself alive longer, you know, it's very simple to make. Once you go ahead and find the trader within the guidebook itself, you can go ahead and go to guidebook and go all the way back down here to traders, and I believe it's in one of the uh, astrolabe ascended realms that you can find this pickaxe, and I think it's the desert. Let me check real quick, just to kind of show you guys what's going on here. So, ascended astrolabe desert open tools there it is you can go ahead and get this you get this uh ascended astrolabe card when you go ahead and craft your first uh ascended antiquarian card so we go in here you can go to realm cards and there's your astrolabe ascended card so once you get that you want to get these 230 tools so that you can start crafting better things you're going to start getting tier 4 and tier 5 materials which you can utilize to go ahead and craft your gear and push your item level levels far beyond this so just keep that in mind um one augmentations two is the card that you play in your realm and three is the level of materials and materials that you utilize in order to go ahead everything has either a max HP, stamina, magic, melee, range damage, or movement speed, or stealth. Right now, stealth doesn't really work in the game. If you shoot one bullet, even with the, the refined sling bow, you're still going to catch the attention of the other enemies. So it's pretty much, you know, stealth isn't really that important. But that's been my video for how to craft better gear. And if you want to go ahead and find out how to open a lot of these excellent workbenches. I'll be posting more videos on the components that may confuse people. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good night and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.